Texas, where everything is bigger. Texas A&M and Arkansas battling it out for the seventh straight season here at AT&T Stadium a little bit. Aggies and Mons look for their first SEC win today and regaining a little bit of confidence. But Mark and Dusty, is it too late now to say sorry? I couldn't help myself. Justin Bieber reference, guys. Oh, I see what you did there, Olivia. I see what you did. For me, it's a, another Bieber special, a no-brainer that urgency is the buzzword for both Starkle and Mond today for respective different reasons. We're underway. Arkansas winning the toss. They elect to receive. It'll be first down and 10 when they get the ball. And hello, everybody. I'm Mark Jones, chopping it up with Dusty Dvorak. You heard from Olivia just a moment ago. Dusty, two years ago, 2017, Starkle beat out Mond. Last year, Mond beat out Starkle. That brings us to today as competitors. Interesting story. Teammates, and now they take the field against one another. For Kellen Mond, he's going to have to get off to a faster start. Had a good fourth quarter against Auburn. He'd like to get it going sooner. Nick Starkle, he's going to try to alleviate and eliminate the ghosts from last week's five interceptions. Needs to just take what the defense gives him here today. Saw that little pregame moment, the two of them dapping each other up, but it's all big business right now the friendship on hold woods with the reception for the Razorbacks and Morris talked about the power of one coming into the game this week one play one player one moment can turn an entire season around to get the pass complete to O'Grady who pulls his way for a gain of nine yards love the play design here they fake it to each flat Quality pursuit to the outside. Anthony Hines, the linebacker, forced the action back in. And then Michael Clemens, the defensive end. Very good pursuit to the football for a minimal game. Second down and nine. That defensive front for the Aggies, the strength of the D so far this season. Whaley still in the ball game, takes the handoff from Starkle. Keeps those legs moving and picks up about three. It'll be third down and about six to go on the gain of four. Folks, keep in mind. Starkle with time. Has a man. And incomplete at the nine-yard line. Knocked out of bounds. It was intended for Burks, who you were just referring to, Dusty. And he's going to hook this one the other way. So after a pretty impressive opening drive, Arkansas and Chad Morris come away empty on the board. Maybe back when I played and had the long hair. <laughs> Isaiah Spiller in the backfield, first and ten for the Aggies. Mon fires a dart complete to his roommate, Jamon Osmond. Mon is going to take off this time. Using his legs and tiptoes out of bounds for a first down as we go back to Matt Berry in the studio. Matt. Mon under heat and sacked back at the 48 yard line. McTelvin again. They just call him Sosa. He's the best defensive lineman, maybe the best defensive player that they have on this defense. Watch him just get up the field. He's going to beat the guard. 55 Kenyon Green inside swim center Colton Prater tries to get over and help but the quickness of a game too much as he gets a big sack that's a 300 pound man moving that nimble Dustin 
Quick first step, excellent swim move to get the penetration and the sack. Second and 16 as a result. On out of the backfield, complete in the flat. That's Isaiah Spiller, and Spiller will be Taking a shot on the post, got a man, and overshot Rodgers. Got his target. You know Mond is as hard on himself as anybody else. Harder on himself than anybody else possibly could be, including his head coach, Bear Catch, called by Burks. If you like the animals, we'll talk about it after this play. Humans on the field, and on the sweep, it's Boyd. Another nice gain of about seven or eight yards on first down and uh <laughs> from tusk to revelry i love animal mascots ralphie amongst my favorite at the 21 yard line matabike bringing down rakeem boyd sets a starkle on third down and three against his former aggie teammates completes the pass to his tight end o'grady who tiptoes up the sideline for the arkansas first down they move the chains on the five yard game tonight We'll have number five Ohio State and Nebraska from Lincoln, where the college game day crew was and still will be. The Buckeyes have won the last four against the Cornhuskers, outscoring them 217 to 86. 7:30 Eastern, 6:30 Central on ABC, as well as the app. The toss into the boundary. This is Boyd again as we check in with the studio. They need a little bit more drip. I'm not crazy about that color coordination. Starkle on the play fake. Completes the pass. Whaley makes the catch, but short of the first down. He targeted him a couple of times in this game. Third and three. Starkle gets rid of it quickly. Incomplete. And no flag on the play. The pass was intended for Mike Woods. And Damani Richardson, the impressive true friend. Smith back at his own 20-yard line for the Aggies. High spiral will bounce at the 33, out of bounds at about the 35. Good starting field position on down and 10. I know you always stepped off the bus looking pretty clean, right? Pass out of the backfield. That's Courtney Davis flagged down to the play. Sweats or suit if you had your choice? Well, I did not have a suit when I was in college. <laughs> but I would wear some slacks and whatever I had, okay. maybe a polo. Okay. Maybe a All button right. up. Didn't get a suit in the repertoire till made it to the NFL. A little late in the game, yeah, huh? Yeah, a little late. <laughs> Offside, defense, number three, five-yard penalty, first down. Now that's going to go against all. On first and five, here's the jet sweep to Davis. And Davis going to be pushed out of bounds after a gain of about two as we check back with the studio. For Auburn, I'd like to see him establish the line of scrimmage and try to run the football. Another flag on the play. This pass complete to Osborn. Osmond with his second reception. Will it stand, though? Let's see what this flag is about. They're going to pick it up, or maybe not. Offside, defense, number three. That penalty is declined. First down. A game the second time on this possession. He's got to slow it down just a touch. Texas A&M going with a little tempo here, trying to catch Arkansas on their heels. It's an offense that has struggled early in two of their four ball games. Little double reverse here. Courtney Davis has the edge. Cuts it back in. Got a good block from Kellen Mond, the quarterback, and all the way down to the 20. A gain of 18 for the Aggies. Well, Courtney Davis may be the most explosive player at the football. I love the fact that the quarterback's going to get out in front and get a key block. Boom. On the corner and set up a nice run for Courtney Davis. From the 21. Osmond split to the bottom of your screen. They elect to run it. And down to the 20-yard line, that's Isaiah Spiller, who had 34. Second and 10. Looking Osmond's way. Comes back to make the catch right near the first down marker. And a first down at the 10-yard line. Osmond was working against Brown. Picked up 11. This is timing. This is chemistry. Going to roll. Mon's going to roll to his left. 
ball comes out before Osmond even gets out of his break. They've worked on this in the summer. How about going up and getting it? Mm. Full extension and the toe tap on the sidelines. Outstanding concentration by Jamon Osmond. Impressive. First and ten, they could get a first down without getting a touchdown. They run it between the tackles. That Spiller again. It was empty formation. On gets rid of it quick. Touchdown, Aggies. Smith with the grab. Kellen Mond knew exactly what he wanted to do. Found the slot on the slant. Down in 10, Jerry Jones, the owner and the visionary of this building. Pass complete out of the backfield, actually the tight end. O'Grady, who has been a favorite target of Starkle, pushed out of bounds by Carper. Carper got the start at safe. Said O'Grady, the best pro prospect on this Arkansas roster. Wow. High praise, 6'4", 260 pounds. That was Boyd on the carry. Field, everything's been kind of dink and dunk. Well, he's got a little bit of chemistry with Burks. Who's gone to here already? The carry by Rakeem Boyd. And Boyd stopped up by Matabike immediately. Boyd, another former Texas AM A. Little blitz coming. Incomplete. Woods didn't look back for the ball. Well, Grady was in the neighborhood as well. It looked like Starkle put the ball in between both of them. Blitz coming. Starkle. Got away from a tackler and made the pass right near the first down. Let's look at the spot. They'll give it to Morris. Morris picks up the first down. Picked up 10. Well, Mike Elko brings pressure off the edge. We're going to see it come from over here. And it's an outstanding job by Nick Starkle stepping up, moving to his right, and finding the open target out in the flats. They pitch it into the boundary. Boyd on the loose and down to the 30. A couple of explosive plays by Arkansas. That one going for 24. Whaley in the backfield now. He gets the handoff and dragged down from behind. He's going to lose two or three yards. Josh Rogers got there in a blink. Decker down in the field. And Arkansas's starting quarterback minus the Justin Bieber t-shirt this week. Handing it off to a starting tailback, Rakeem Boyd. Both a couple of Texas A&M transfers. So let's see if Mike Elko brings some pressure. Showing pressure before the... Missed earlier from 51. This one from 46 and he drills it home with authority as we check in with the studio at 7-3 now. Smith back deep for Texas A&M. On with the Bodie. This one will go out the back of the end zone. Dial. Who wears Don't those? Be hating, Jones. Who wears those anymore? Minshew. Mond. Fires a laser complete to Smith. Still on his feet. And Smith into Razorback territory at the 44-yard line. Doing a little bit of work after the catch to pick up 30 yards on the play. I like that route run by Anias Smith, the true freshman. They like him a lot. He shook the coverage of Monteric Brown. Well done by the true freshman. Mons hands it off to his tailback. That's Spiller. Spiller, a true freshman, brought down by another true freshman. Davis in motion. Option. Pass to Davis. Nowhere to go. Good defense by Arkansas. Speaking of this Arkansas defense, Dusty, we've caught third and four for Texas A&M. Incomplete. And a flag, a late one thrown as Courtney Davis was defended by Bumper Poole. That's right. His name is Bumper Poole. 
A little too bumpy defending that time. Defense isn't happy, but I mm. look pass like interference. The right call. Defense. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. See bumper pool. That's a tough cover. Linebacker, he's in zone coverage. See, I hooks him there at the right as he tries to come over the top at the left. It's a pretty easy call. Yeah. And a deep official. He held him like a grudge that time. Run it to Spiller, nowhere to go between the tackles. T.J. Smith, the first. It's an all-name first team. Mond. Complete. Down to the 16-yard line. Courtney Davis at the other end of it. Working against Cameron Curl. 15-yard pickup at a first down. Protection was there. I love this route. Working out of the slot. You're just going to shut it down and sit down. That ball is delivered right as he's getting out of his break on the curl route. Timing's been really precise for Kellen Mond and his wideouts here today. Kellen Mond was offered by Texas A&M as a sophomore in high school in San Antonio. Initially committed to Baylor and then decommitted. And wisely out of the pocket, throws it out of bounds. Good pressure by Bumper Pool. On sets, now takes off and sacked. Back at the 20 yard line by Soli. Soli playing with that big club on his hand, but good enough to wrap up Mon. Third and 14 as a result. Mon with a lot of time this time comes underneath. Complete to Smith. First down and then some out of bounds. First and goal, Texas A&M. Great run after the catch. Outrunning Harris to pick up 16. Five coming up. On looking into the end zone. Incomplete for Osborn. He was working against Brown. Incomplete of the three. Second and goal now. On nine of 12. Hands it off. Spiller hand walking. Touchdown! Let's see if this stands. Because he lunged at the last moment. We'll have to see if his knee touched. It's going to be close. I love the extra effort by Isaiah Spiller. A little jump cut. Jump cut makes the initial defender miss. As you can see, he's hit at the three. Wow, what an effort. Ooh. I'm gonna and just like Jimbo Fisher is wont to do, that he's in his quarterback's grill with some explanations. And his team is leading 14-3, folks. Well, as we hear all the time, it's a game of inches and extra effort. The true freshman Isaiah Spiller makes a man miss, lunges, and gets the Aggies on the board. The Aggies looking for their third win of the season, coming off a loss last week against Auburn at home. As we check in with Matt. Completes it to his back, Rakeem Boyd. Boyd collared, but picks up eight on the play. Second and three, Woods in motion. Starko comes back on the tunnel screen and nowhere to go for his receiver. That's going to be a gain of one on the play. Coach Chavis, offensive coordinator, here's the jet sweep. Hammonds on the move and picks up the first down, pushed out of bounds at the 40 yard line here at Arkansas as well. well like Dabo did, he changed the culture from the inside. Starkle over the middle to his tight end, O'Grady. O'Grady deep into AM territory at the 32. Finally brought down by Harper, and he picks up 27. Well, Cheyenne O'Grady's had a heck of a first half. Watch him just walk to the middle of the field. Linebackers are going to be up. Safety gets caught up looking in the backfield. Middle of the field's wide open. Nick Starkle identifies it. Easy pitch and catch to his favorite target of the afternoon. Well, you can understand why the NFL scouts love his talent. They set up the screen well. Really. And another first down at the 17-yard line for the Razorbacks. Richardson finally with a tackle, but a gain of 16. Love the big hogs, if you will, getting out in front. 
Well executed. It's a double screen, one to each side. Watch the big guys get out in front. 51 gets on a second level player. The center, 66, Ty Clary. Starkle taking a shot into the end zone. And a late flag coming. That's going to be interference against Charles Oliver. Traylon Burks was the intended receiver. Got a little too handsy down there. It's a good matchup. Remember the first possession was excellent coverage by Oliver knocking a ball loose on a big third down. Trying to throw the slot fade to Traylon Burks. Charles Oliver. Pass interference. interference. Defense number 21. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul with an automatic first down. Working out of the slot. One on one coverage just manned up. Con I mean, you could have gone either way. It was illegal contact before the pass was thrown and clearly interference as was in the air. Arkansas with an opportunity here. Joaquin Boyd in the backfield. Boyd takes the handoff, nowhere to go between the tackles. Buddy Johnson, the team's leading tackler, making the stop along. Woods in motion. Looked like it was a busted play. Starkle again had to take off with it. And it's going to lose a couple of yards back to the six-yard line. Aaron Hansford making the stop. And it's third and goal. Aaron Hansford. We got a flag down. Well, there was definitely uh, some miscommunication there. After the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number three for Texas A&M, his first of the game. To be half the distance to the goal and an automatic first down. Wow, that's huge. Tyree Johnson, number three, the perpetrator. Boyd. Boy, they are rolling up their sleeves, Dusty, and playing some football between the tackles. Michael Clemens. The first Aggie to get there making the tackle. Strength of this defense up front, a defensive line. Michael Clemens going to get penetration off the side. He actually is unblocked, squeezes down well on the inside zone, makes a play right at the line of scrimmage. I just have to ask, where's that tight end Sh Cheyenne O'Grady in the red zone? Starkle, they tried to hit the corner coming inside. Picked off. Intercepted by Matabike. An errand, ill-advised, cataclysmic throw by Starkle. His sixth interception in the last two games. Well, this is all panic from Nick Starkle. He's got to be smarter with the football. A, even a sack in this situation is better than the end result. Nick Starkle gets pressure, comes in his face right now, looks like they wanted to shovel it, and instead, he just throws it up, bounces off a defender, and the big defensive tackle, Justin Matabuke, with a big play and turnover for the Aggies. Stan M. Dusty, I missed you last night at midnight yell practice. Don't be yelling to these good people. Oh. Fumble on the field. Arkansas scoop, yeah. score. They got it right back. Room service. Harris. Of sales, they get a free one on the fumble. What do they say? Timing is everything. Yeah. Boy, was timing perfect for Arkansas. Kellen Mond, 16 and 9 as a starter coming into this afternoon. At the pass, fumbled it. He put it on the ground. This time, able to scamper and get it back. T.J. Smith with the hit on the play. Well, T.J. Smith made a couple of nice plays today, and Mond is limping. The defensive tackle spot. Let's watch him work inside. We're going to see him come right over here. Sorry, he was coming more off the edge. Beats the tackle, 75. Luke Matthews, who's in the game. Backup who's having to play. Boy, and Nick Starkle is being carted off the field. He's a true freshman to be coming in for Arkansas. Zach Calzada. That's all good. Oh, Ben Hicks. Yeah, ben Hicks started the game. Ball. Started the season, the first two games, they hand it off this time. Spiller able to get the handoff, unlike the last time. And 
Third and 20, Vermont hands it off. That's Cabote, nowhere to go for him. And it's fourth and long. Let's take a look at Nick Starkland, how he was shaken up after the interception. Boy, he put his hat down and got trucked by Matabike. Ben Hicks familiar with the system of Chad Morris. He was with him at SMU before transferring here to Arkansas. Also a transfer. This is Burks on the return. Back to the 26. Trying to get to the edge. Got a nice block. Spring him loose. Burks into AM territory at the 40-yard line. And the Hogs have come alive. Braden Mann, the punter, made the tackle on the play. He bring that arm on the interception return trying to make the tackle right now hicks hands it off to tq jackson and he makes it down to the 40 well 39 yard line ball coming out fast and utilizing that talented tight end hicks is going to throw it here incomplete try to hit his tight end you were just mentioning o'grady would have been a tough catch had to contort his body and there's a flag thrown in the vicinity of quarterback ben hicks personal foul Roughing the passer, defense number 52. Using his body to punish the quarterback. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Justin Matabike. I know that that's a big point of emphasis. He, he drives him into the ground. Don't ask me how I truly feel about those calls. <laughs> how do you but I know that it's a point of emphasis. I was a defensive tackle. How do you think I feel about I don't it? Know. But rules are rules, and they continue to throw these flags. So as a defender, you may not like it, you've got to be able to adjust and try as best you can to roll off that quarterback and not continue to drive him into the ground. Another flag down, the handoff to Rakeem Boyd. So, so now they want defenders to not be too rough on the top. Uh, <laughs> now you, you can't. Illegal formation offense, five players in the backfield, five yard penalty, first down. First and 15. Awkward looking end of run snap right between the tackles. Boyd still keeping those feet moving, powering his way. Indomitable to a first down. Boy, a spirited Rakeem Boyd was spinning. 16 yards. Vision and burst through the hole for Rakeem Boyd. As that block goes, watch him see the hole open up and burst through it for a big first down. Back shoulder fade, touchdown. Woods. Under two minutes to go, and the Razorbacks down a starting quarterback, Nick Starkle. Hicks comes in, and on his first series, he... Let's see what Kellen Mond does here, how he responds. Throws a completion. Boy, that was a dangerous pass. Complete to Courtney Davis. Three receiver formation. Mond going to take off. Makes it out to the 41-yard line, leaving him about five yards short of the first down. Cameron Curl made the tackle on the play. 135 to go in the first half. Nice pressure coming off the edge. The true freshman solely coming off of one edge. They brought a blitz off the other side. Well done by Kellen Mond to escape it and get what he can get. Mond thought about taking off and wisely throws it over the head of the closest receiver, Kabodi. Osmond on security blanket in motion. And he looks his way, fires complete to Osmond to the 48 of Arkansas. Working against Miles Mason. Fourth first down reception for Jamon Osmond so far today. You mentioned it. When they need to get a play, when they need a reception, Look for number two. Great chemistry between him and his quarterback. Ten pounds lighter than he was a season ago when he played in this game. Wide open out of the backfield complete. Capote with a little bit of room. Pushed out of bounds. About a yard shy of the first down with 49 seconds to go. Blitz coming on Mon. Got rid of it in time. Over the head of his intended target, Courtney Davis. short. Mond keeps it and picks up the first down at the 35-yard line with 38 seconds to go 
He gained four. They're in hurry up. Buckley in motion. Boy, Mom got rid of it quickly to his man down to the 21 yard line. Osmond with another reception working against McClellan. 13 yard gain. They got to go quickly. 29 seconds to go. One time out. Well within field goal range for Seth Small. On. Down to the two. Did he catch it? Yes, at the two yard line. Buckley got those hands underneath the football for the great grab. 16 seconds to go. 20 yard gain. They got one timeout remaining. And they're going to take another look. Here's the call. After further, re after further review, the pass is incomplete. The ball will be returned to the 22 yard line. It will be second down. They put us through different scenarios. We had to take tests. They put us through scenarios and put us as if we're in what they call the hot box. The guy sitting in there who, with all the different things you have to review and the clock, spot of the football are things that you don't even think about wow. that become very tough and complex. So a lot of times when they're under the hood and it's taken longer than people want it to, that's what they're checking, exactly where the spot should be, mm. what the time of the clock should be. It was very educational and a thing that I'm glad I don't have to do with those guys do that's a <laughs> tough position to be in you sound pretty sympathetic 16 seconds to go in the first half ball back of the 22 and completes it though down to the 10 davis on the move davis touchdown Courtney Davis made the catch, and then the turbo kicked in. I mean, they saw nothing second quarter alone. And this one's shaping up to be perhaps another classic. Remember, six of the last seven have been decided by seven or less. Three of the last five have gone to overtime. Get comfortable. We are. We're in the Taj Mahal of foot to go up by four, but this Arkansas team, which hasn't won a conference game during Chad Morris's reign uh, into year two, looking good here. And so many stories to talk about moving forward here in the third quarter. Texas A&M will have the football. This is Smith. Still on his feet. And Smith is going to give them good field position at about the 32-yard line. In business. And here we are, coming out of halftime with another close game between these two teams. Mon was impressive at the end of the second quarter there. Completes that one to Buckley. Let's go down to Olivia for more on his right, pardon me, his left elbow. He didn't start the game with that. Mond sacked back at the 33-yard line by Gabe Richardson coming off the edge with some pretty good pressure. Gabe Richardson, senior defensive end. Quality job with the pressure, gets to the level, the quarterback shuts it down and makes a nice sack. Watch it come, and he's going to shut it down when he gets to the level, come inside and get the sack of Kellen Mond. Nice play by the senior defensive end, Gabe Richardson. Third and long for Texas A&M here on their first drive of the second half. Little trips left formation for Mond. Gets time to throw, and it's incomplete at the 47-yard line. Intended for Osmond, broken up by McClellan. For screen, number 34, punting for Texas A&M. They came after him a little bit, but he got off a huge boot all the way back to the 11-yard line. This is Burks. And hauled down at the 16-yard line. A five-yard for me. Give Rakeem Boyd the football. He's very productive in the first half. Play fake, Hicks fires a dart complete to Jackson, and Jackson picks up a first down for the Razorbacks. What about the, the start the second half? Hands it off this time to Joaquin Boyd. Boyd told his story in the first half, a transfer for two yards so far. 
Backside heat. Hicks got rid of it to the right guy. O'Grady down to the 41 for the first down. There's that man again. Cheyenne O'Grady once again. As soon as he clears the linebackers, a strike fired by Ben Hicks. Excellent throw to the big-time tight end. Miles Jones made the tackle. Hicks with a little bit of time wide open to Woods. And Woods put his hat down and looked to run over the defender, Renfro. And they move the chains again. Chad Morris has to feel good about this sequence of events so far. It's the best he's looked all year. Yeah. Go back and watch him against Portland State, the first half against Ole Miss. Maybe sometimes when you sit back and watch from the sidelines, it gives you a better perspective. He's five for five throwing the football. Little option into the boundary. Boy, Boyd tried to go airborne. And Hicks has time. Incomplete. Through behind his receiver, Traylon Burks. Trying to hook a big one here. Hicks makes the catch at the 11 yard line. And Burks hooked the defender on that pattern. Picked up 13. Throw slightly behind Burks. Great concentration as he goes behind his body. It's a big time third down catch. He took the bait, Jonesy. He sure did. Handoff this time. Whaley, touchdown, Hogs! Strike a pose. This rushing attack has been potent for Arkansas. First half, and then a... Arkansas leading by three. They are revitalized, partner. But... Traylon Burks has been like 7-11. He's been open all day. <laughs> See what Mon does here to counter. Backside pressure, and he's dragged down by his shoestrings from behind. Bumper pool. Look, the inability of Texas A&M to run the football is hurting them. We're going to get some pressure coming here, and watch 86 keep contained outside as Kellamon flushes. The blitz comes off the edge, forces Kellamon to roll outside, evades it. It's an outstanding job by 86, Jamario Bell, to keep contained and get Kellamon on the ground for a second time in this half. Second and 14. Set up the screen. Got a couple blockers out in front of Spiller, still on his feet. And a spirited run by Spiller. Getting a lot of plays this afternoon. Mond incomplete. Boy, they sat on that route. McClellan was waiting on that. Osmond, the intended target. Fourth down coming up. That's excellent defense once again by John Chavis's Arkansas Razorback secondary. Pressure on the quarterback. How about back-to-back -back possessions? Jarquez McClellan. McClellan. It's almost like the exact same play yeah, we saw was. on the first possession. Yeah. Try to get Osborne on a slant. McClellan gets in inside position, gets his arm in front, and yet another pass breakup. Excellent job by the six-foot sophomore corner. Second consecutive three and out to start the second half for the Aggies offense. Great man, the All-American, averaging over 48 yards per punt. And that's why he's All-American, folks, inside the 10-yard line. That one was in the air so long. Arlington Stadium. Got me hungry. I'm not one of those plant-based dudes. I'll just let you know that. That pass complete to Mike Wood. Carbs today. Need a lot of carbs to use energy on the field today. And boy, this Arkansas Razorback team playing with a lot of energy. Boyd on the run. This, by the way, the backup has been fantastic since he's come in for Nick Stark. He's looking at third and seven. Got rid of it quick, incomplete at the 12 yard line. Burks was in the same vicinity as Coylan Jackson, and the two of them appeared to push the punt. Held the ball for 42 seconds. A high spiral by Sam Loy. 
And a fair catch at the 44 yard line for Texas A&M. Well, the Arkansan defense is on the field right now. Mond keeps it on a predetermined quarterback run and a nice game, Dusty, of nine yards. We've seen him keep it in the run game by design here this afternoon, a little bit more than previously, right? Well, I, I would utilize them, especially, they're not generating any rushing yards with their running backs. Whatever you can do to get the ground game going, a little speed option into the boundary, good choice by Kellamon to tuck it up and get a quality pickup. Second down and three. They marked it back at the 48-yard line. On hands it off and a first down run. By Jacob Cabote. On the hands it off. Cabote again. Made a couple of people miss and ended up picking up about seven yards. So they go to the ground game here. And producing too. Staple play of what they like to do. Gonna be a little counter action. Get those guys out in front. Pull the center. Backside tight end. Nice job by Colton Prater, the center, getting out in front. A couple of bigger runs we've seen all day here on this drive early on for Texas A&M. Much needed ground attack starting to appear. Second and three. They're going to run it again and pick up another first down. Capote, the workhorse, as we go back to Matt in the studio. First down and ten. 32 Mond in the pocket now going to take off. Kellen Mond making lemonade right there on the run using his feet. And Harris finally making the tackle, but a first down by the quarterback, Kellen Mond. Great versatility in his game, first down and 10. The bubble screen complete to Davis. Made a move on the edge and ends up picking up seven yards. Asked Mond put a lot of quarterbacks in the league. First and ten. Ron hoping to be next. That pass complete to Davis. Short gain down to the 14-yard line. Folks, are we discipline and being coached hard? Ron out of the shotgun. Surveys. Picked off in the end zone by Brown. And Brown kills the AM drive. Kellen Mond has got to see the coverage and go to a second target. That's going to be a run by Rakeem Boyd. Pushed out of bounds right near the line of scrimmage. Gained it back in the second half. Are you surprised at all? I'm not surprised at all. You know, I've, I've watched these guys play, and um, you know, I know they're a scrappy team, and you know, it's just a matter of all putting it all together at one time. And I feel like that's something they've been trying to do today, and I, I just hope for in the Heisman. Yeah. Put some great numbers. And he hits sacked. It's not going to be a safety. It's right at about the one yard line. Buddy Johnson was the first of several to arrive. And now the Hogs will have to punt it in the shadows of their own goalposts. Well, that's what Mike Elko was wanting from his defense. Respond after the turnover with a huge stop. We'll see Buddy Johnson come on the blitz, set it up. With Matabuki. Boy, that was close. I think Good. he's able to keep it outside of the end zone. Seventh sack of the season for the Aggies. Sam Lloyd gets rid of it quickly. Fumbled and caught, recovered by Smith. Boy, what a, what a juggling act. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not going to say he did that by design. But he had people holding their collective breaths, and now a little got some jaw jacking on the sidelines. Let's take a breath and give you our Aflac trivia question. And after the call here, okay. After the play, personal foul, receiving team number five. It's a 15 yard penalty. First down. Game prior to last drive. Oh, a true freshman Spiller. 
Kabodi have been doing a nice job. This is Kabodi. And he picks about four on the play. Moment is all it takes to turn a season around. Looking for that here this afternoon. Mom has a different script right now, and he runs it all the way down to the 24 yard line. Fouché makes the tackle. What a first down for the Yankees. This is really quality blocking on the right side. Watched him get hooked all the way around. The running back's going to lead out. Just going to be a quarterback sweep to the right. 54. Carson Green seals the edge. And Kellen Mond with another quality pickup as a runner. 45 seconds to go at the 34-yard line. hands it off to Kabodi. Broke a couple of tackles for the first down. Down to the 20-yard line. Tonight we'll have number five Ohio State, Nebraska from Lincoln, where college game. Flag down to the play. Mond hands it off. They keep it on the ground to Spiller. Spiller is averaging almost eight yards per carry coming into the game this afternoon. And this penalty is going to go against Texas a and Illegal formation, offense, five players in the backfield. Five-yard penalty, first down. Quarterback option, Mon got collared. Took a shot to the neck. And a nice hit by Grant Morgan. Number two. Mon is trying to pass. Complete underneath to the true freshman Smith, who's made some real pivotal and timely catches here today. McClellan making the tackle on the 11. Aspen goes in motion to the top of your screen. Goes right to him. The entire time. Touch and oh, he stepped out of bounds at the three. They're going to mark it at the three. He walked in on him again, but it paid off this time, partner. Well, they use motion this time to get the exact matchup that they want. And Arkansas defensively loses him in the motion. Let's see if he gets in. I think he's going to be out to four. On first and goal. They're going to throw it. Touchdown, Davis. Off the great ball thing. Well, that's what running the football does. So Fisher wasn't buying all the hype about his team being huge, almost four touchdown favorites. He respected the talent on the other side of the field, and they're in a battle here today. We'll be right back. Team nickname, the Blue Hand. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> there we go. Pop and a run. Burks. Flag down on the play. Burks finally pushed out of bounds. There's a flag way back at the 24 after that Hicks completion. And you can tell by the expression on his face, he's not going to like the call. Let's stand. Ineligible receiver downfield, number 16 on the offense. He was covered. It's a five-yard penalty from the previous spot, first down. Well, that one stings. Chad Morris not going to be happy about that. Oh, man. Okay, so we got him working right here. He's got to be off the football. Covered up. He's got to back off the football. He's up at the line of scrimmage. Mm. Crowd here alive. Hicks. That one batted down to the line of scrimmage by Tyree Johnson, number three. The defensive coordinator, second and 15. Hicks got rid of it, and caught redemption for Burks, who is the perpetrator on that last penalty, makes a great catch against Charles Oliver to pick up 31 yards. The body control in the air by Traylon Burks was outstanding. Ben Hicks was getting pressured. He stood in there. He went to his true freshman, and a big-time catch for a first down. Hicks with time, and for the second time, batted down at the line of scrimmage. From the 49, second and 10. 
Quick slant complete for the tight end O'Grady. Fights for some extra yards, and at the spot, they're going to give him a first down. That big tight end's tough to tackle. Mm. Man, yards after the catch, a little spin, lower the shoulder, move the sticks. You got the whole package. Diane O'Grady out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. start fall start offense number three five yard penalty first down let's take a first and 15 they run it between the tackles and that hole close up quickly Rakeem Boyd Had a nice day working here with 80 yards second and 12 Hicks incomplete down the sideline intended for Woods but ultimately deciding on the Razorbacks Hicks delivers strike at the 25 yard line and a first down to Morris 16 yards on the pickup Tyson Morris up top we haven't called his name many times today gonna find him on the post Yet Cheyenne O'Grady trailing Burks underneath. He goes up top and a strike on a huge third down conversion. From the 25. Hicks has time. One on one and incomplete. Batted down by Charles Oliver. Well defended. There's a can and 10. Batted at the line of scrimmage again. That's the third time that Hicks has had a pass batted at the line of scrimmage or deflected. I got to get down to the 15. Has plenty of time. But good coverage at the 23 yard line. Catch was made by Rakeem Board. Made one from 46, missed from 51. This one from 40. And he makes it a one-point game. With 8.46 to go, the Arkansas Razorbacks. His Razorbacks trailing by a single point. He celebrated 150 years of college football. Cabote stopped up by Harris. Play second and nine. And we continue to celebrate this great sport that we get a chance to cover. Mond incompleted the 39 intended for Osmond. Give it to me. Well, Oklahoma, that result? I might have already had the decision before oh, the game. Okay. <laughs> Come on. On third and long. Got to make a move, and he does. Oh, he hit him with the two-piece. Kellen Mond picks up the first down. He rocked Harris's world, and Richardson was left gasping for air too sometimes you just got to make a play nothing's open down the field so kellen mon he's going to utilize his athleticism and oh man he put that foot in the ground and dejon harris mm. ooh, got left in the dust what a play by the junior quarterback kellen mon big conversion an 18 yard gain on the play they run it into the boundary with capote and nowhere to go all right, Sam Cunningham game, USC against Alabama. A historical game, a quick slant complete to Smith. Still on his feet. Picked up another first down. 14-yard gain. Olivia, what's your memorable moment? Dark star legend. 100 years of pro football and 150 years of college football. And so many more to come. But they'd be better this year. Jimbo Fisher, he's got a plan in the process. Mond incomplete. That's not what Fisher had in mind. And a flag. Monteric Brown was defending Osborn. I think he had him hooked. And he's not protesting too vehemently. Let's take a look. We've been seeing this matchup quite a bit. Go to Osborn again on the slant. That backhand. Yeah. Had that left arm wrapped around him. Wrapped around him. Contact was there prior to the Holding pass. Holding defense number 21. It's a 10-yard penalty and will carry an automatic first down. With Michigan leading the way. Mond incomplete intended for Davis. 
And Nebraska. Both those fan bases, man, are so passionate. <laughs> but yes, you're right. <laughs> Five and a half to go. Mond throws a dart complete at the 25-yard line to Brown. We're going to get to turn that time off. Aggies five of nine on third downs today. Mon sacked at the 33 by Bell. It keeps them in field goal range. But it's fourth down coming up. Well, Jamario Bell, this will be his second half, second sack of the half. Power as he presses the edge. Watch him take the offensive tackle right into the quarterback, working on Carson Green. Just a bull rush, long arm, comes off. It was good coverage down the field, and a big time sack. And as a result, Seth Small gonna attempt this field goal from 50. Right on the mark, enough leg, good. And it's a four point lead for the Rays, pardon me, for the Aggies. Hicks hands it off on first down. And a four yard gain by Rakeem Boyd. Keep an eye on number 85. Downfield, what a thread, what a pass complete. Burks with the catch at the other end. Charles Oliver helplessly defending on the play. The bench and make it some big time throws. Hands it off. That's Boyd. Hicks coming off the bench now, 12 for 20. That impressive. Ben Hicks trying to be a hero. Plenty of time to throw it. Downfield incomplete. Off of the fingertips of Hammonds, but there's a flag down. Illegal shift on the offense. It's a five-yard penalty. Second down. And threw a touchdown in his first drive. He's going to get a free one here. Went on a quick count. That's out of bounds, incomplete. Jones defending on the play. Offside, defense, five-yard penalty. Second down. Smart by Ben Hicks. He knew. Hicks to the tight end and met immediately. Three yards short. Richardson on the tackle. Let's bring in Matt. Hicks is going to throw, and for the fourth time, batted down at the line of scrimmage. Ball game, let's see what he calls. They're going to pass on fourth and two. Hicks, complete for the first down. O'Grady, money time, working against Oliver on the corner. O'Grady making that money today. You like the call? I would have expected a run. I, I thought we would have seen a run on third or fourth down. It's a good call. It worked, and you go to your most reliable player who's had a heck of a day. Hicks again. And he wisely throws this one away. The closest receiver, Traylon Burks. Hicks. Double move. Caught at the 24-yard line, Woods. A cool and composed Ben Hicks on the connection for 22 yards to Woods. Just a strike on the corner route on the far sidelines. Puts it right in stride with his receiver, Mike Woods, where only his receiver can catch it. Man, Ben Hicks dropping dimes out here, Jones. That was impressive. Under a minute to go, 58 seconds. Look how cool, calm, collected he looks, too. Just, just chilling. Two timeouts remaining for Arkansas. Hicks, and he's sacked back at the 33-yard line. They've got a couple of timeouts. Matabike was the first one to get there, and Arkansas is going to burn one of its two remaining timeouts. Leading receiver coming into the game this afternoon. Blitz. Incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, O'Grady. No flag on the play. Football. So costly, egregious, deleterious, hurtful to our hopes. Offense, wow. 16, five yard penalty. Third down. How does that happen? 
Motion, it's loud, a lot of noise being created by Texas A&M. Probably the biggest moment of Traylon Burks' young career. Oh. The last time he made a mistake, he totally redeemed himself. We'll see if he can do it again. And you don't need to get all 20 here. Split it up. Eight to ten yards, make it fourth and manageable. Hicks steps up. Stays on his feet. Miraculously, Hicks with the trick down to the 18. 35 seconds to go. Coming into this, what does it say to see this end the way it's ending right now? Something about these two teams in this stadium, you know it's going to be a close football game. Throw out the record books, throw out the point spreads. It's a rivalry. They know each other well, and it's coming down the wire yet again. Ben Hicks with a chance to be a hero for this Arkansas football team. How can you not think about the tight end, Cheyenne O'Grady? He's been so good today. We're out of timeouts. 37 seconds to go. From the 19, Hicks drops way back, got rid of it, almost intercepted. Buddy Johnson had to go right through his hands. take a look at it it's going to O'Grady the whole time he's going to try to work his way all the way across the field Texas A&M was not falling for it two different defenders right there Jeremiah Martin Buddy Johnson they were not going to allow Cheyenne O'Grady to come open I like the play design they try to sneak him out the back go to the far side but it's well defended by Texas A&M wow what a game what a finish both these teams fighting to the bitter end. Jimbo Fisher's team will improve to three and two. And Chad Morris will see his Razorbacks fall to two and three and lose for the eighth consecutive time against the Aggies. Hicks almost provided heroics at the end. He was invariable. And inexorable right to the end. But they needed one more play. Kellen Mond began this game going up again.